is Amani Mustafa. I am a former Muslim from Egypt and I came to know Christ as a young teen. Because of my choice, I suffered severe persecution in my country for 15 years until God miraculously delivered me with my children out of Egypt. I thought I was escaping to the Western world of freedom, but to my surprise, I found myself followed by Muslims to kill me for choosing to worship Christ. My children and I lived in hiding for 10 more years. The truth is, my story is an example of millions of stories for men and women in the Islamic world who are persecuted, jailed, kidnapped, tortured, or killed because of their faith in Christ. Today, we watch the suffering of nations, the call for justice and freedom all over the Middle East. But what we don't see is the oppression and the suffering of that minority called the body of Christ. In the midst of all the noise, the voice of freedom, the voice of freedom of worship is stifled. Churches are attacked, burned, or bombed while it is full of worshipers. When the blood of Christians filled the streets of Alexandria New Year's Eve 2011, you heard the Muslims shout, Allahu Akbar, that was a victory for Allah. Every day, followers of Christ are persecuted, killed, kidnapped by their neighbors or governments or families. In Algeria, Morocco, Yemen, Egypt, and even in Saudi Arabia, we as the body of Christ are honored to be called by His name and to persevere for his name. But Allah in the Quran says, I will cast terror into the hearts of those who disbelieve. But Jesus, Jesus said, love even your enemies. We have a choice even in love. I pray that as you listen today, that God will fill your hearts with his love and motivate you to advocate for the persecuted church and stand against the bloodshed of Christians all over the world. But above all, we stand for the name of Christ and the love of Christ to be shown to the world, even those who persecute us.